In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remote control your Fire Stick via your Windows PC. Let's get to it. So it's a really easy simple guide to follow all you got to do is open your fire exp nowhere just there and then we need to go to our c site and then create a new folder and then we're gonna call this folder Nike. so that's f l a k i e Nike, and then click enter you should now see a new folder called Nike. so what we're gonna do is memorize this window and then we're gonna open our browser up and we need to download two things of this website so to get to it just open your browser and type in nike.co.uk so that's f l a k i e dot co dot uk and then press enter and then go to where it says adb gui app and then we want to download the scr cpy adb remote control app so we'll click that and then we'll save it to our downloads folder and then we click nike's adb app 2.1 or whatever version you're wanting and then click save on that we then need to right click on one of them folders click zone folder and over the it's up run up your downloads folder so we need to extract these so i'm gonna do the scrcpy one first so all you do is click it then go up to x like dough and this box pops up click files and then go to that nike folder we created which is in the c side and then nike and then click the next folder and then click x like and now we'll extract it into that Nike folder. Now we need to extract the Nike folder. So let's click on it. Click extract though. And let's bounce. And then put it into the C side. And then that Nike folder we created earlier. And click the next folder and extract okay now we'll open up the Nike folder now so once you're in the Nike folder all we want to do is double click the Nike ADB GUI AXE it's safe to run so click more info than run anyway I did scan it with my fire protection and it is so good folks so click one anyway okay now you should see this box folks so we what we need to do is go to where it says no case adb and then you should be in your nike folder if not Go to your C safe 
and then the Nike folder, and then the ADB EXE. And then we need to go on our fire stick. And then we need to go to the gear icon. And then we need to go to my fire TV. And then we need to go to about. And then write down your IP address. Folks, not mine, your IP address. Folks, so once you've written down your IP address or memorized it, go back on to your PC. And then we need to type in the remote ADB your IP address as it said on the fire stick. And then from the remote port, it's always double five, double five. So that's four fives. And then we just connect, connect a DB device. And then it's saying the diamond couldn't dot, so you may need to enable your ADB folks. So on your fire stick again, go to different different options and turn on ADB and apps from unknown sources. Go back on to your computer and try again to connect to that ADB device. And then you might see a pop-up saying asking you to and now ADB. So click the box where it says and now from this comp user and click OK. I've already done that so that pop-up won't show up again. So it's a load up in the fire stick now so is connected to me IP is now if I click locate SCRCPY click on that and then run the SCRCPY exe file and then just finish screen resolution I'm gonna go for default and then Nick, the next device. So then my IP is was off the fire stick. Nick remote. And then, if you did it all correctly, you should see your fire stick on your PC, folks. And as you can see, the picture. It's really, really good. The subble is no. If you navigate, it is kind of snuggish. So it's not my like responsive like us really, really no. So what we want to do now is nose down the window and select um six forty next six. 40 and then click remote console again and if that box pops up again you should now see a small new window it's a no resolution and it's pixelated but you should see now it's more responsive folks if you're doing YouTube videos like myself, I do recommend you guys to um, go out and buy a capsule card, folks. So this is looking directly into my computer. 
Hence why it's a full HD picture and it's like ringy ringy responsive bolts. But if you just want to help someone out with their fire stick faults, this is a great way to do it folks. So as you can see on the 640p one is navigating normal thing now and I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard or so be able to if I click down on my keyboard the down key as you can see I can console my fire stick in the keyboard now so can I console in the mouse of course I can folks just the escape button work? Yes, it does, guys. And uh, let's say I want to search up something for them. Say if I'm looking for download it from them. Again, it's always easy, folks. Download it. Click on that. Like, I'm consoling this. My keyboard and mouse. So let's say I want streaming. Visit. I click on goals just there and go there. And I have now complete console of my fire stick. And that's in C I can scroll. Oh, and I can click favorites, files, browser, and of course I can scroll, and I can click the escape button to escape from the application. That's you can see, it's working when you respond to folks. So, 640 is your best bet for your to have a responsive navigation for your fire stick. If you can in the default, as you saw, it will act a bit naggy and all that. And all you do to stop the ADB connection is if you click console save escape on your keyboard or bin up this folks so all we're looking for is adb.exe and then we end that text and that should disconnect the adb from your fire stick you can also do it like that as well folks so now you go now is how to um console your fire stick via your computer thanks for watching